We begin with a Target 12 investigators exclusive, Thrill Kill. We were the first to break the news of a convicted murderer's early release. And today, we also broke the news about which city Alfred Brissett is now living in. New at 6, a city councilor tells us that he's confident in all the precautions being taken to ensure public safety. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live in our newsroom. Providence City Councilman Michael Correa tells me his gut reaction to the news was simply why, but he says he knows that Alfred Brissett is now in a secure facility. Convicted killer Alfred Brissett is out of prison, and police tell us the so-called thrill killer is living in Providence. Are people safe? Yes. Councilman Michael Correa tells Eyewitness News he met with the director of the facility where Brissett will be living for four months. He says it's a good option to ensure the public safety as well as Brissett's. I can say that the facility that he is at, uh, the location that he's at, there has never uh, been any call for police activity there. Uh, there's been never calls for service there. The parole board tells us Brissett will have GPS monitoring 24-7, and police tell the Target 12 investigators detectives met with Brissett at his new home Wednesday morning. They say it was a routine meeting common for parolees who've been convicted of serious crimes. Do people have a right to know that he's living in their neighborhood? People do have the right to know uh, that uh, he is here. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, I, I, I don't think it's a requirement. Brissette and Mark Gerard were convicted of the brutal murder of Jeanette Dakotu. Court documents reveal the pair planned the killing just to see how it felt. The parole board voted unanimously to release Brissette early. Live in the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.